Yo, it's Arcade and today we are gonna make some hard EDM banger. It's gonna be in style of Stampede Records and I want it to be like a big club banger. I also have this excellent pack by Ultrasonic. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna put piano in here. And I'm gonna start by laying out the chord, bass and the melody. Now it's sort of different for this type of genre because there is not much melody in composition, but I'm gonna sort of imagine it in my head, like the whole song, and just add the notes in the piano. So I want it to be sort of like... And as ridiculous as that sounds, <laughs> I already have the song like in my head, ready to go. So now we just have to transfer it into the piano first. So really just laying out a simple bass and melody. And we're gonna repeat this. So holding control and selecting with your mouse, then shift and duplicating it wherever you want. And there it is, this is the base of the song. And now we're just gonna add the sounds. Really simple, right? So this would be like a painter just painting with pencil and laying out where everything would be. This is the equivalent of that. But now let's move on from that and let's make the drums. So as I said, I have this ultrasonic oxygen pack in here that I'm gonna use. It has tons of serum presets, more than 300, bunch of FL Studio project files, and then you have your samples, loops, vocals, and more. So let's get started with the drums. So as I said, I want this to be like a club banger, so we should get some hard drums but probably pretty simple drums as well so i'm just gonna put it in here and also let's get a nice hi-hat going i want like a short one but maybe let's have a longer one under it And let's switch in between them to create some sort of a variation in the hi-hat. And let's see if we want another hi-hat like this. Okay, let's do that. I also increased the swing here. Now let's get a clap. It needs to be like a slap clap. And we're gonna change the out knob on the kick to delete some of the release from it. Okay, so we have the basic drums ready. And let's start working on the other sounds. So the first thing I'm gonna work on is the hits, which is probably these chords right here. So we just take these notes and let's open up Serum, put them in here and let's check out the presets. So we have so many bass sounds, leads, chords, plucks and pads. I'm gonna start with bass. I like the first one right away. So yeah, to create the hit, we're gonna need a bass. We're gonna need some sort of a chord, maybe some crashes, and it's gonna be like a big hit. Also, I'm gonna create a new channel here, insert six, rename it to SD, like sidechain, and I'm gonna put kickstart plugin on there, so we have the sidechaining ready. So let's check the samples again, we look at stops, that's exactly what I want, like the big hits, you can also call them stops, and brass is an excellent one. But I also like this one. Let's just check it out, and we can also put this on the sidechains channel. So of course it sounds weird right now. So let's put some reverb on it. And we're also gonna sidechain the bass. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see the brass stab as well. It's in F, so we wanna pitch it up so it's in G. So we're just gonna take the pitch and put it plus 200. You can see it in the top left corner. Now it's gonna be G. If you don't know, just go take a look at piano roll. This is your F. So you wanna go one, two higher to go at G. So that's how you calculate it. So obviously we want it to be the same as our bass. And again, I'm gonna put it on channel five, lower the volume. We can also put a crash on it. This one, a shorter one, I like it. The second one doesn't need the crash. 
but also we have different notes here. So obviously we want to make sure the stabs are the same key. So I'm going to click on this little icon here on the sample and make it unique and do the same for the other one, make unique. And now we can pitch it down or up and it's not going to affect these samples. So the second key we have is D sharp. So let's take a look. We have G. We want to go down to D sharp. That's one, two, three, four, four keys. So we're just going to lower it by 400. And this one is at F, one, two. It's two keys down. So we're going to lower it minus 200. And we have another note here. So we're going to do the same. So yeah, little calculations. Just take a look at the piano roll or your keyboard if you have one and just count the notes. That's how simple it is. One thing you can do. So... This one is pretty low. We can also go higher with it if we want to. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna end up on C again, but a higher C. So I like that better, I think. And now we have the basic stabs and the hits with the drums. So really nice bass for the song. So one thing I might change is this bass. Let's take a look at some other sounds. I like this one better. It's good to preview them with the rest of the sounds because otherwise this one is like a bit weird, but with the other sounds, it's pretty cool. Another tip I can give you is when your bass sound is like too low at some places, like this first note is all right, but these two, way too low, so you can just select them, hold control and arrow up to put them octave higher. Now it's still the same notes, just octave higher, so the sound will sound better in that range. So let's see if we can extend this bass line. So the way I'm doing this is, if you take a look at my melody here that I created with the piano at the beginning, I'm just sort of following the same notes with the bass. So not the melody notes, just the same rhythm. You can see it, right? So I'm gonna be hitting the same rhythm with the bass as I'm gonna be with the melody. So just copy the bass like this. So I feel like this one is pretty low, but I don't want it to be like this high either. So what we can do is differentiate between different octaves from time to time. Like this. So that will sort of make the presence of this bass more obvious in the mix. So now I want to add some melody. So again, I'm going to take Serum and I'm going to go to Leads. Okay, so a lot of exciting sounds here. So let me just play with some. And I'm going to copy the melody from my piano that I created at the beginning. Put it in here. So this one is pretty extreme. I'm going to put it on a separate channel, but root it to sidechain channel. Root to this track only. That means it is affected by the Kickstarter plugin, but we can also put separate plugins on it as well. So I'm gonna put some reverb. So let's just hear it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, but we wanna try some different sounds as well. So let's just go through them. I like this one. So let me try something here. I'm gonna extend this and I'm just gonna keep the first half with the same step over and over. And you know, in the second repetition, we actually introduce the other step. And I'm thinking maybe we want this to be a different key. So instead of C, we're gonna do a D. So another thing I want to do is like a little fill in the end of the first repetition. And it's just going to be the hits 
over and over like this. We're going to cut them and take the slice tool, cut the first part of your base like this. Let's see. So let's take a look at some fills. So let's just put some fills in here, fill it up, you know, literally. And we want some harder crash as well. And not only that, we also want some down filters. We can probably also sidechain them. So I put them on track six. That means they are going to be pumping like that. So now back to the melody, we got distracted with the fill. So the melody, I mean, it's all right. Let's see if we lower it by octave, if it's better. I think we can do it octave lower and then octave higher. But now let's introduce another sound. So I really like the presets. So I want to play with some more melodies actually. So I want to do like a So we can do that by holding the alt key and making the notes super short. Okay, maybe like that. We can also automate the volume here because it's way too loud from the get go. So I'm just going to create an automation clip and lower it like this. And maybe remove the swing from this. So you just do that by going to Serum, going here and lowering the swing all the way down. Because if you have the swing enabled here, it's going to affect all of the sounds. But if you want some of the sounds to not have it, you just lower it individually. Okay, so I'm thinking like maybe like a cat vocal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try some ambience here. It's always nice to add sounds like these. One thing we want to add for sure is like an up filter, right? To build up some tension in this. Let's see this. One thing I want to do is take this sound and put a river on it like before, but also put stereo shaper on it. Before it's like this. And with the stereo shaper, it's like this. You can only hear this on headphones or good speakers, but you can hear like it's separated more. So you sort of create space for it in the mix. And now all it takes is just to copy this whole thing, but without the melody. And I'm actually going to automate the bass here. We have a knob here that we can automate this macro. So I'm going to do that. And that's sort of going to end the song. So let's take a look. And then the last thing is just the last hit at the end, just like this. So yeah, our song is ready, our drop is ready. And of course, we want to color it. So this is like blue, purple. Okay, so I did some last minute edits and added some little things which do make a difference. So I added this little effect here, just at the end of every repetition. And I also ended up using some of these lead synth shots from the pack. So I just sort of layer the melody with this synth as well. I also added these rides and that is all the little adjustments that I did. And of course it was all made using the ultrasonic oxygen stampede sample pack, which is packed with sounds, so many one shots, drum loops, effects, fills, synths, vocals and more. And of course you also have seven project files in different EDM genres and over 300 serum presets, which are just excellent. If you want to get this sample pack yourself, the link is below in the description. That being said, let's have a listen to the finished result. Enjoy.
And that is our EDM banger. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Also check out the pack that I used, link is below in the description. Goodbye.